A piece of headgear that functions like an MRI for the brain and a device that detects focus. Such technology is being used to study human behavior at a new research center at the National Institute of Education. The aim is to create curriculum and classes that will help maximize a student's potential. The back part of the brain, the area responsible for a person's sense of sight, is being activated as they watch a video. How hard the brain is working can be seen too, with brighter spots indicating a higher level of activity. All this information comes from this device, which functions like an MRI for the brain. Researchers and educators at the NIE's latest research centre, SOLEC, are using the device to study human behaviour. This will help them tailor curriculum and classes for students. There are even plans to let students wear the device in school to see how engaged they are during class. For now, they are targeting children from the ages of 4 to 12. We want to know where would be the interventions that would work best to optimise all students' learning trajectories and behaviours. Then we might be able next to work through what are the teachers' designs and teachers' pedagogies that can be situated to that particular learner and to maximise that learning opportunity and that learning outcome. There is another device called the eye tracker that detects your focus. A bigger red dot indicates a higher level of focus. The red dots on this animation are bigger than those on still images. This shows that people are more attracted to moving visuals. The device may be used to find out where a student's attention is at and how to better engage them visually as learning is increasingly moved online. One of the things that we hope to do is to use some of the latest technologies to objectively and um, non-invasively assess their visual focus during online learning experiences when there are no teachers. The centre also houses an experimental classroom that has a one-way mirror along an observation deck. This is for researchers to observe and study learning processes under natural conditions. A master's program has also been launched so that more people beyond researchers and teachers can learn how to optimize learning.